The George Zimmerman issue is totally irrelevant. I gave it a chance in 2013. You guys know I gave it a chance, but it's so irrelevant it's pissing me off. Now it's not even about Gay Vaughn anymore. It's about him calling out rappers for a boxing match, black rappers. But I'm thinking, um, I could beat half those guys up. You're not really proving anything. You know, send me DMX, send me Kanye, send me, uh, the game. I could put him in the grave right now. I'm not even that tough of a guy. I don't know how to throw a punch. I could do an Enzigiri. I could, I've done it before. I could do a, hmm, Oma Plata. I've done that before. I can do a lot of that crazy shit, but I don't know how to throw a punch for shit. So maybe make it an MMA match. That'd probably be the only chance I have. <sighs> Fuck lots of niggas up with that Enzikiri. You don't even know. And that Oma Plata. <laughs> I'm an idiot. But no, really. What significance does George Zimmerman have right now? The guy got out of the... Trayvon issue, he got out of the domestic abuse issue. The whole problem with this guy is that he's a mestizo with some half Jew in him, a total cro mag. Yes, he's an asshole, but he shouldn't be guilty of what they're charging him with. Homicide, uh, murder, uh, manslaughter, none of that, people keep, I mean, you could probably charge him with something, but a lot of people here don't know the law, me, okay, in law class, the last semester, I got a 55, but that's because I didn't do the essay, I kind of understand that the reason that people think this guy did a homo is absolutely ridiculous. I remember that one video of this guy saying, Yo, yo, if he was really in danger, he would have put the gun out on purpose. He wouldn't have waited in the last second and bait. He's baiting him in. Can you explain that to me? I'm explaining to this guy, Yo, you stupid Mexican retard. You don't. If you're going to, like. What he's saying is, George Zimmerman was baiting Trayvon because. He didn't pull out the gun immediately when he was in danger. What you guys don't understand is that you're supposed to put it on the last minute. You can't threaten anybody with a gun. This is the United States. You can't do that. Yes, the law is stupid, but that's how it works. You're supposed to take it out and then shoot. Don't threaten the guy with the gun. Don't do this. You sh I swear. <laughs> this is why half of y'all go to prison, because you think you understand the law, but you fucking don't. So that's kind of where the Rayvon issue came to significance. They're trying to label this guy a white guy, and his defenders part of the rising ranks of angry white conservative right-wingers. That's where it goes significant, but after that it loses anything. Because... What do we win or lose from this case? No Rodney King riots happened. Okay, there were some riots. But it wasn't the happening. The happening isn't going to fucking happen for Trayvon. Nobody really gives a shit. We're so obsessed and enamored with Facebook and changing our profile pictures to black that we fail to see the reality. Him boxing... Him beating up DMX isn't going to save white America. Him beating up DMX isn't going to save white America. You guys get this, right? So why are we dealing with this case? Well, if it happens... This is what the liberals think. If it happens to one person, Trayvon, it could happen to any person. That's the slippery slope fallacy. You guys, your idea of justice is built upon, predicated upon, an age-old fallacy we built most of our American propaganda on. Kind of like the World War II demagogue saying, 
if Germany can have sold all these places and Japan can have sold all these places, then pretty soon the whole world's going to be sold, including us, even if we're geographically disconnected from it. It's getting really stupid at this point, the false flaggings and Pearl Harbor and And it didn't stop there, it was also the Cold War bullshit, it's the Vietnam bullshit. This whole, if it can happen to one person, it can happen to everyone. This is how you liberals fall for propaganda, and you start becoming macho all of a sudden. You go from being effeminate hippies to macho guys, going into violence because you don't understand how it works. This is how we invade countries that aren't democracies. This is how we lock people up for crimes they technically didn't commit. You people are stupid. And the right-wingers that are making this a big issue as opposed to stuff that actually matters, you're just as much of a problem. And I hate this pussyfooting thing where it's like, Okay, at the end of the day, none of this matters. What matters is this. But no, it really is legit this time because now I'm starting to feel like everybody is stupid. You guys read everything on the internet and think it's fucking true. And you're just a bunch of youthful idiots. Not useful idiots, youthful idiots. Anyway, it's Mr. Waka 7. Fuck everyone who's watching this. Y'all can go to hell. Think about it.